you know, I am fully aware that springtime is right around the corner, but I'm gonna keep rocking my dark lip until I ain't got no more lipstick. And if that happens, I'm just gonna buy some more. Anyway, you guys probably already see it in the title up above that this is gonna be a haul video. Yay! Go haul, go haul, go haul. I went to MAC and I went to Sephora, so I wanna share with you guys every little thing that I got. I must warn you, this is gonna be a pretty long video considering it is quite a bit of stuff. But don't worry, I didn't get it all in one day. I did kind of do this maybe within a two week span. Yeah. So I'm gonna start with the, so no, I'm gonna start with the MAC stuff because I, don't, I didn't buy as many MAC items as I did um, the Sephora stuff. So first thing that I bought, I'm super excited about. I'm wearing it today and it's the, it's the box. The MAC Mineralized Moisture SPF 15 Foundation. And I'm normally an NC42, got this in an NC37 and I'm wearing it today. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm blinging. I'm blinging, you see that? You see that crazy shine right there? OMG, that is all, that's all this foundation right here, all this bling. That's this baby right there. So if you are a um, dry skin girl, this this will be this will be very nice for you. Just saying. Let me fix this hair real quick. You see, I got my little beanie on. Yeah. Okay. So I got that. Then I got the. What do I want to talk about next? The Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm chasing this baby for a little bit because it has a little pump on it. It's this little glass, little glass container here. It comes with a punk, a punk. Comes with a pump, and I think that's really cute. I'm gonna use that mainly for uh, under eye purposes because I had the um, the Studio Fix, or I think or that, I think that's what it's called, the, the cream one. I've had that for a while. It's worked really well, but it always creases on me. It looks all nasty and cakey underneath my under eye circles because I got some issues up in there so I have got this and this is in NW30 which is weird because I'm normally NC and everything but it looks good right all right so then I got this lipstick I don't know why I, I didn't already own this it's the MAC Ruby Woo Ruby Woo Ruby Woo that just sounds sexy Ruby Woo <laughs> anyway, MAC Ruby Woo, Ruby Woo is a completely matte red, sexy, fire engine red, sexy lipstick. I have not had a chance to wear it yet, but I'm kind of hoping on trying that out really soon. I didn't want to throw it on today because I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with my theme of dark lips. So I'm keeping that theme going. But for springtime, I really like to whip out my bright fire engine red lips. So this is beautiful. And then the last thing I picked up from MAC was kind of unexpected. I was not even trying to buy this. But the moment that the, the MAC girl, she mixed it into my foundation and I was really blinging, I had to get it. It's the, where is it? Where are you? The Luster Drops. The MAC Luster Drops in Sun Rush, and this one's like a gold color, like a bronzy gold color. Oh my god, how sexy is you? With my incorrect grammar, tug them out, how sexy is you? Yeah. Come on, baby. Yeah, I had to do it big with this because it makes you shine beautifully. So this is gorgeous for the uh, summertime coming up, make you look all bronzy and sexy and whatnot. And that's pretty much all I got from MAC. Next, I'm gonna move on to the Sephora because I, you know, I picked, I, I did some damage. I did some damage to Sephora. So I'm gonna start off with the foundation because I've been a bit of a foundation hoarder for the past couple of months. And I picked up the NARS Sheer Glow. Are you starting to notice the theme with my foundations? I like me my glowy foundations. This is NARS Sheer Glow in the color Strombali, which I think I'm going to go for a darker shade. I feel like even now this is a little bit light for me, and I feel like once the summertime hits, 
and I get really tan that this is just not going to be cutting it. But here it is. It's beautiful. It makes you shine and make you look super sexy. Then I got a BB cream because everybody got one. Bless me. I had a BB cream because everybody has a BB cream except for me and I'm like, I'm, I feel lonely. I want a BB cream too. So mainly picked up the BB cream because I've been getting really lazy with my makeup routine. So I, I've been wanting something that will get me up and out the door within a few seconds. Then I got the Beauty Blender because you guys probably don't know or you do know. I've always had like the dupe. I've always had this bad boy, ew, I, I used it today. I've always had this pink sponge. I'm gonna hold it this way so you guys can't judge me. I've always had this pink sponge and it's always been beautiful and it's always worked amazingly for me but it's not the original Beauty Blender so I went and got me the original. Okay, so I got the Beauty Blender and then I, I picked up some mascaras. I picked up two and for whatever strange reason, I picked two Lancome mascaras. This one is the Oscillation Intensity and it's a pretty gimmicky mascara. It, they're brilliant. Lancome was brilliant with marketing their mascaras because this is a vibrating mascara. Pause. No nasty thoughts. Get your mind out of the gutter. It vibrates. I don't see if you guys can see it vibrating, but I'm gonna try it. All right, so I'm gonna make it vibrate. You guys probably won't be able to see it vibrate, but Trust me when I say that this bad boy vibrates and it's pretty weird. It's something to get used to at first, but I think it's pretty freaking awesome. I want to do a review on this too, which is why I don't want to give you what I fully think about it right now. So I got that mascara from Lancome. And then I also got another mascara from Lancome because this one I got because of the packaging. Say no more. Why does this mascara have more body than me? And I want to bring it up close so you guys see that it has this beautiful glittery like ombre effect because it sold me, it got me. You got my money Lancome because you have a sexy packaging. Oh my God, seriously? Does it get more heavenly than that? Like with that beautiful sparkle. And then it you know, cascades into the logo, logo, logo. And then it has this cute little cap there. This is a bad mascara. And when I mean bad, I mean she bad. Weird moment. All right, put away my mascaras. Then I got the oh so in infamous lip gloss that everybody and mama got except for me. Kim K's favorite. And it's NARS uh, lip gloss in Turkish Delight. I'm gonna show that to you guys. You've probably seen it a thousand times. And it's this beautiful pale pink, beautiful pale pink color, baby pink, powdery pink, whatever, it's pink. What else did I get? Okay, I bought my weakness again. I have this weakness for Anastasia products because they're so damn expensive, but they're so damn good. And this time I got the Brow Wiz again in brunette. This is not my first time buying it. I already know that I like this and that I love it and that I recommend it to all human beings who are brunettes. And they changed up their packaging, which I think is pretty freaking awesome. They used to be like purple and pink, but this is a nice sleek, so uh, what is this? Rose gold and black sleek packaging. So way to go Anastasia as far as upgrading your packaging. But like my necklace. Then I got this Tarte Cheek Stain. I have the little version of it, like little tiny version. I got in like a Sephora like holiday gift set and I loved it. Um, I absolutely do love this. It just looks so pretty on the cheeks. It gives you a nice dewy finish. I'm not wearing it today because I, I want to keep the bronzy theme going on, but this is gorgeous. I will be doing a video on this or a tutorial using it because this is so beautiful and natural looking and low maintenance and it remind it smells just like fruit loops it smells exactly like fruit loops if you love the way fruit loops smell you're gonna like this a lot i love you and then the final two products that i got from sephora 
overall skincare products because my skin is, is at a point right now where it's just freaking out. So I bought the Murad Acne Spot Treatment. I've been using this for a while, so I know for a fact that I, I already really like this, but it's really good, but it smells really, really funky. So if that's going to be a huge issue, that's going to be a huge problem for you, then you might want to reconsider getting something else. But I like it because it doesn't have benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid because those two ingredients irritate my skin really bad and they burn like on contact and then my skin peels and it's a whole big ordeal. It's not cute. So this is sulfur based. It's funky, but it's really good. And alongside that, I got the Murad Post Acne Spot Lightning Gel. And this does have 2% hydroquinone, so you've been warned. Yeah, this has a 2% hydroquinone. I haven't been using it long enough to get really, really good results, but um, people seem to be really excited about it. I, I've read really good reviews about it, so I'm hoping that they can do the same for me. But if and when I get results from this, then I will be making a video on how it really worked out for me and my experience with the... Uh, the gel. Anyway, that's it for my haul video. I did go a little makeup happy, but I work hard for the money. You know, so. Anyway, guys, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you like this video and if you like watching haul videos, then by all means give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys like watching haul videos. Because I know a lot of you don't. And also subscribe. If you aren't already a subscriber, hit that yellow button up there and subscribe. Trust me, it's free. Until that, um, not until that, until then, say goodbye, ladies.